So uh, we're here with uh, Asumi J, who is uh, going to be answering the question of how we can stop terrorism within the UK. So uh, if you want to take the mic, over to you. So my thoughts on how we can stop extremism in the UK. Um, this is a very big problem. I've done a lot of research on Islamophobia, the rise of Islamic extremism, I guess, or whatever is in the UK. And there's this thing called Generation Jihad. So it's a lot of people who are actually born in the UK. They're second generation um, British. and the study showed that a lot of them are actually very angry at what's happening in their parents' country. So a lot of this anger, just like, for example, people turn to crime or gangs, this is what's happening as well. And I believe that education is very important. It's key. Um, and we need to educate people on what Islam actually teaches, because a lot of them are brainwashed by extreme, uh, what we call imams, with their kind of ideology that encourages them that jihad means to go overseas and to fight. So for example, what's happening in Syria, and you find a lot of the youth running away, um, going off to Syria, and this is not uh, what we should be doing or teaching the kids. Okay, if you're fighting to defend people, if you're trying to protect you know, the innocent woman and civilian, yes, that could be a form of jihad. But the case with Syria right now is that on the day of judgment, you are going to have to answer to God on why you have innocent blood on your hands. Because um, again, you might be thinking that you're actually doing something good, you know, trying to protect the innocent or whatever it is. Some people are there for um, their extreme ideology or for the money or for trying to gain lands or whatever it is. I feel like the most important thing that we can do to help is humanitarian aid, sending money, sending supplies, um, medical supplies, like what the White Helmets are doing, it's amazing because they're actually risking their lives. Uh, they're doctors, they're engineers, they're brothers, sons, fathers. And what's happening now is that there are zero uh, hospitals left in Aleppo, which is tragic. Like, we go to a hospital here, wait four hours and, you know, are complaining. And I don't have a reason to complain anymore, especially when I see what's happening there. So they need a lot of, you know, financial aid, humanitarian aid. And this is what we can be doing to help. Going over there isn't going to solve anything. Like I said, innocent blood on your hands. How can you justify that? You don't know who you're fighting. So I encourage everyone to get involved with charity organizations, um, and so nonprofit NGOs, federal legislature, you know, make sure they're not affiliated to any political party. And that the main cause for them is to actually, you know, help those in need that need it the most.